do we change the system? We've got to demand systemic change. I'm, look, I'm straight, I'm honest with people, I'm a Marxist. You know, I've been, this is a classic mark crisis of the economy, a classic capitalist crisis. I've been waiting for this for a generation. <laughs> <laughs> for Christ's sake, don't waste it. You know, let's use this to explain to people this system based on greed and profit does not work. What we need is a system based upon planning for need and democratically controlled. To assist Comrade Osborne in his dealings with his newfound comrades, I brought him along Mao's little red book. <laughs> Let me quote. Let me quote, Mr. Speaker. I want to hear about the contents of the book. The quote is this. Oh, be behave. We must learn to do economic work from all who know how, no matter who they are. We must esteem them as teachers, learning from them respectfully and conscientiously. But we must not to pretend to know what we do not know. I thought it would come in handy for him in his new relationship. So the Shadow Chancellor literally stood at the dispatch box and read out from Mao's little red book. <laughs> and look, it's his personal signed copy. And what's so impressive about Cuba is the education and the health services. And I think the uh, legacy of Castro will be that, but will also be this enormous figure on the world stage, the one who campaigned against apartheid and the one who brought a different language and a different set of values. Latterly, things have changed a lot in Cuba. There is a greater recognition that uh, economic progress must go hand in hand with improvements in human rights and the rights of uh, free speech. And I think that's changed and developed a lot in Cuba. But I think history will show that Castro was such a key figure. There were problems, and there are problems, of um, excesses by all, all regimes, and I recognize that. I have spoken out against human rights abuses anywhere in the world, and indeed raised these issues anywhere in the world. But I think we have to look at the, the thing in its totality. One doesn't excuse that. One does recognize the economic and social changes that have happened in Cuba um, as a result of the revolution of 1959. Okay. Thanks, Showed that in their millions, the people of Venezuela are not going back to corruption, to autocracy, to an army that fires on the working class on the streets, that shoots strikers, that bans trade unions and denies poor people education. This is a changed moment and in a period of a unipolar world, Chavez strode the world, spoke up for the Palestinians, spoke up for the poor around the world and in inspiration to all of us fighting back against austerity and neoliberal economics in Europe showed us there is a different and a better way of doing things. It's called socialism, it's called social justice, and it's something that Venezuela has made a big step towards. Huge steps still to be made, no doubt about that. But in Chavez, let's remember someone who stood up, was counted, was, is, was inspiring, is inspiring, and in his death, we will march on to that better, just, peaceful, and hopeful world. Thank you. Muchísimas gracias, Presidente. Uh, soy Jeremy Corbyn, el diputado del Parlamento Británico, 
y uh, también un amigo muy muy bueno de Tony Ben ahora es muy triste él murió la semana pasada es una vida de la lucha contra las guerras en Irak y Afganistán y también uh, el líder en la en militante contra uh, la policía económica del uh, Banco Europa y los otros uh, los problemas de los pobres británicos y los otros países. Uh, exactamente durante la vida, Tony Bennett en uh, Pensamos mucho en los problemas del socialismo y los problemas de luchar contra, contra el capitalismo. Y durante el huelga muy grande, en el 84, 85, uh, para los niños de, uh, de cabineros en uh, Británico, yo y Tony Ben uh, trabajando mucho con los mineros en, uh, durante la, la huelga un tiempo muy triste por nuestro británico ahora Muchísimas gracias Absolutamente, Tony Berners en visión de otro mundo otro mundo de socialismo otro mundo de paz o otro mundo sin pobres es una inspiración para todos y nuestro trabajando es para cambio este mundo uh, Felicitaciones para ti señor presidente y para todo el pueblo de Venezuela también You now have a new guy running your campaign called Andrew Murray, Chief of Staff Len McCluskey, General Secretary of Unite, the Union, who until very recently has been a long-standing senior member of the Communist Party of Britain. This is a guy now effectively heading your campaign. Uh, this is a man who said about Stalin, uh, he bemoaned the fact that hack propagandists abominate the name of Stalin. Uh, he said about North Korea, the basic position of solidarity for his Communist Party of Britain should be with people's career. That's Kim Jong-un. I mean, you've got a guy in charge of your party now who basically wants us to, apparently, to show solidarity with one of the most well, outrageous dictators on the planet. Uh, you know, but East Berlin was absolutely at the front line of the Cold War. That's what the Berlin Wall was. It was a front line between two social and military systems and two military alliances, and a very tense one at that. You know, it wasn't just uh, some kind of arbitrary division to hold people in. It was also a, a front line in a global conflict, and that 